Miles Murphy is universally seen as an elite prospect and the consensus second best edge rusher in this year's class. Dane Brugler of The Athletic had him at fourth on his big board and Mike Renner of PFF had him at eighth on his. But after diving deeper into his film, I just don't see him as this elite edge rusher that many others view him as. Before I get into why I'm lower on Murphy than the consensus, I want to talk about what makes him such a tantalizing prospect in the eyes of many. And his best trait above all else is his first step. And this first clip is a good representation of that. On this play, he's going to be the first man past the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be able to beat the tackle to his landmark. And then he shows good ankle flexibility to get his hips redirected at the quarterback to finish for the sack fumble. On this next play, once again, he's lined up on the edge. And on this play, it's self-explanatory. There's not much I need to say. He's going to explode off the ball, beat the tackle to his landmark. He can barely get a hand on him. Then he powers through the running back in protection for the hit on the quarterback. And while he doesn't have a wide variety of pass rush moves, his go-to move and the move I saw him succeed on more than any other was his chop rip. So on this play, once again, he's lined up on the edge and he's going to get vertical and he does a good job attacking the tackle's outside hand to chop it down. And then once again, you see that angle flexibility, that ability to redirect at the top of his rush and flatten to work up towards the quarterback. Same thing here. He's lined up on the edge and he's going to attack that outside arm, chop it to collapse it, rip to finish. And then once again, work back up towards the quarterback in the pocket. And he also flashes power as a pass rusher. And in this play, working off the edge once again, he's going to get vertical. And he's going to land inside on the tackle to forklift him and put him right on his back and finish for the hit on the quarterback. And those same traits that show up as a pass rusher for Murphy also show up in the run game. On this play, he's going to get vertical, lined up on the edge. He's going to get vertical to strike the tight end. And he's going to lock out to separate, get eyes in the backfield. And you see him control his block. He's patient, doesn't shed too early, controls his block. And then once the back declares, sheds to make the stop. Once again, lined up, head up with the tight end. And he's going to do a great job exploding through his hips to strike with a flat back and roll through to jack the tight end up, control his pads, shed violently, get eyes in the backfield, and then make the stop. And on this last play, lined up on the edge, we see that explosiveness that I mentioned as a pass rusher, where he's just going to fire off the ball to play behind the line of scrimmage before anyone else on this Clemson defensive line and then disrupt the run in the backfield at the mesh point to completely blow up whatever Florida State had planned. So I talked about what I love about Murphy. Now I want to get into some of the issues I have with this game. And the first being that he plays with poor pad level both in the run game and in the pass game. On this first play, Head up with the tight end on the edge. He's going to get vertical once again. But you see he allows the tight end to get underneath him. To get hooks underneath him. And just drive him multiple yards off the football. And on this next play. Lined up. Outside shoulder of the tight end. Once again. He gets too upright and too narrow in his base. And then just gets drove off the ball. By this combo block by the tight ends. And on this play on the edge, he's going to stunt inside to work over the guard. And despite having momentum coming in, he's so upright and he allows the guard to land inside on his pads. He can't get any push on this bull rush attempt. Completely stalls out. On this final play, once again, lined up on the edge. He's going to get vertical. He's going to try to work a two-hand bull rush right down the middle. But due to, once again, that poor pad level, poor leverage, he gets no push, gets stopped in his tracks. In tandem with playing tall, he also doesn't have great bend or flexibility as a rusher. And on this play, he's going to get vertical off the edge and try to get a hook under this tackle to win around the edge on the rip. But he just doesn't have the flexibility in his upper body to contort, to kind of work his way completely under the tackle. And he just ends up getting pushed past the quarterback. On this next play, same thing. 
He just doesn't have the um, flexibility in his upper body. He's just too stiff to win on this rip move. Like we see other guys do. Like you see Will Anderson in this class do. Or BJ Ojolari. He just doesn't have it. And he's forced to try to spin back at the top to try to work back up the pocket. And the final concern I want to talk about is his lack of counters and general lack of nuance as a pass rusher. So on this first play, he allows the tackle to land his hands inside on the quick set. Instead of beating that initial punch, he allows him to land. And then once he does land, he tries to chop away that outside hand. But once that doesn't work, there's no additional counter to try to escape. And the rush just stalls out. On this next play, working on the outside shoulder of the tackle, he's gonna try to stab inside and win on the move that he does win on a lot, this outside chop. But once that doesn't work, there's no additional counter to try to win around the edge. Has to counter back inside, but he never clears the tackle's hands, who still has control of his pads, and the rush once again completely stalls out. Miles Murphy looks the part of the ideal edge rusher. He's 6'5, 275, has a 35 inch vertical, 10 foot broad jump, and runs in the four fives. But his lack of bend and flexibility, poor pad level, and overall lack of nuance as a pass rusher are why I don't view him as an elite edge prospect. His frame and explosiveness give him a good floor as a player, but his stiffness, high hips, and lack of nuance limit his upside in my eyes. And as of today, Murphy would probably be my fifth edge rusher in this class after, in no order, Will Anderson, BJ Ojolari, Tyree Wilson, and Nolan Smith. And comparing him to last year's edge class, he would have probably been sixth for me after Aiden Hutchinson, uh, Arnold Abichetti, Kayvon Thibodeau, Trevon Walker, and then pre-Achilles injury, he would have been below David Ajobo for me as well. So overall, I think Miles Murphy's a good player, but I do think the idea of him is much better than the actual player.